Hey guys, welcome back to another Cerebellum PYQ 90 second series. Today I am going to discuss a recent need PG question from infectious diseases and here is your case. A patient presenting to the hospital with fever and chills, fever profile is ordered and is found to be negative for malaria and dengue. RK39 test alone is found to be positive. What is the treatment of choice? Option A, amphotericin B, Option B, Dapson, Option C, Hydroxychloroquine, Option D, Griseofilvin. Whenever they say RK39 is positive, in exams, invariably it indicates visceral leishmaniasis. In India, the most commonly used drug to treat leishmaniasis is amphotericin B. The right answer for this question is option A. Even though there are plenty of drugs available to treat leishmaniasis, in India, the most commonly used drug to treat visceral leishmaniasis is amphotericin B. I am repeating one more time. So let us also know what are the antigens that are going to help us diagnose parasitic infections. Number one, RK39 WKK antigen. It's going to help us diagnose visceral leishmaniasis. Number two, HRP2. PMA that is pan malarial antigen and LDH is going to help us diagnose plasmodium infections. In fact, HRP2 is going to help us diagnose plasmodium falciparum infections and LDH for plasmodium vivax infections. But pan malarial antigen that is nothing but malarial aldolase is going to help us diagnose any malarial infection across species. Number three, Galactose Galnac, Entamoeba histolytica. Number four, Gyrida antigen or antigen number 65 for Gyrida lambia. Number five, 200 kilodalton or OG4C3 antigen. It's going to help us diagnose Usheria Bancroft infection. Thank you.